Hey guys, welcome to today's tutorial. Uh, today I was showing you how to make a thumbnail for your game. Uh, so, first what you want to do is you want to open up your image editing software, whatever you might have. Uh, I specifically have Photoshop, but uh, this doesn't really change anything as for terms of saving or um, the level of uh, uh, quality. Uh, for your thumbnail, uh, it kind of just depends on your uh, your uh, goal or your idea of this thumbnail for your game. So I'm gonna open up Photoshop. Uh, like I was mentioning, though. Uh, the one things that I have uh, with difficulties in these tutorials, specifically on like image creating, is that you don't necessarily have the same uh, um, capabilities to uh, do the same effects as I might, because Photoshop is one of those you know, bigger programs that a lot of professionals use and whatnot. Uh, so I'm not specifically here to make uh, a show you tell you how to specifically create text and whatnot and all that fancy components. Uh, I'm just here to tell you how to um, show you how to upload and stuff. And so um, what you're going to want to do is go to file in the upper left corner and go to new. I'm not going to worry about naming it right now. So. I like to do mine in inches, I'm not sure how anyone else one likes to do it, uh, but uh, typically for a thumbnail, you, the width is 8 inches by 4.5 inches, and uh, the pixels uh, are that, I guess, 2400 by 5, that, I think it's yeah, reset it. Um, I'll see if it. Okay. So, guess not. Whatever. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep it in inches. If you know how many uh, pixels it is in inches, comment that below, I guess. Uh, and another thing that you want to do is if you have the capabilities to on uh, resolution, you want to. Uh, Make sure that it's at 300, at least in uh, Photoshop, because I tend to find 300 is a good size for a file, uh, and you won't really have to worry about uh, too much space being taken up. Whereas, like, 1000 for resolution might be a bit too much. Um, and that's usually about all. Uh, your background can be transparent, like, whatever. Uh, that will just show up as the internet. I like to keep mine transparent. Yeah, that's about all. So I'm just gonna click OK. And then you'll see the uh, document sh uh, canvas show up. If you want to change it, you can get, uh, specifically in Photoshop, you can go to canvas size and image. And then you can change that and stuff. Uh, but I don't really need to. So. I'm going to make a simple uh, thumbnail, I guess, for a game. I think I'll probably choose my uh, old game. Oh, we'll see. Uh, yeah. Alright guys, now that I have my uh, basic thumbnail done, not too hard, uh, you, what you want to do is save it. Uh, so one of the things I like to do is I usually save as first, uh, as the uh, program type. Uh, so Photoshop has its own format for 
you're saving Photoshop and it ends in a PSD, which tells you it's a Photoshop uh, image or whatnot. And what I like to usually do is save it as a uh, Photoshop file first, just so if in the future I want to edit specifically something in the thumbnail or maybe use it for something else but change it up a little, uh, I have the capabilities to. Since uh, program their own formats usually um, allow you to keep these layers over here that you see, uh, and that's, I don't want to explain it all. Uh, so I'm just going to call this YouTube tutorial, YTT for short. And then I'm just going to click OK. I don't usually read over that. I don't know if you, any of you people who do, uh, are watching this do or whatnot. Uh, that's up to you though, I guess. <laughs> Um, and you want to go back up to file and save as again, but this time you want to change the format to PNG or JPEG. I like to save mine as a uh, PNG, however though, since typically a JPEG, if you have per se any uh, checkered background, like my layer one is just transparent, uh, if you were to save that as a JPEG, you would it would just turn white, and then, yeah, and I don't really like that. That's why some of the shirts might be white where they're supposed to be, like, your hand or whatnot, uh, because they saved as a JPEG instead of a PNG. Uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and save that. And so uh, it's done saving it. And now you want to go back to uh, Roblox. You want to go to Develop. I'm just going to choose my two my try this place. You want to go to this little gear over here. If you can't see it uh, back there. Uh, and you want to click on Configure Place, the first, first option. So you'll be able to. Um, you're gonna see this whole like sidebar type of thing, and you want to click on thumbnail. Game icon is that uh, square icon that you see when you go to a place, uh, or you just see it in the games page. Uh, thumbnail is when you click on that place and you go to that game icon. And so anyway, an image is 10 Robux, so if you don't have that, I don't know why you're going to upload one then, because you need Robux for this. Um, so you're going to select the image. I do have some, as you can see, from for videos. Uh, and then I'm gonna click on the PNG one, the one that ends in PNG. And open that. Uh, it won't show up or anything because you haven't uploaded it. So I'm gonna just click upload. You're gonna buy now. And then it will do this uh, and say that you successfully uploaded it. Uh, it will take some while for Roblox to uh, review this and approve it. Uh, but yeah, after that, you just save your game. And it will take you to the game page. This is where your thumbnail will show up. I'll just show you what I mean. So, these square icons are those game icons that I was talking about. The other tab. And the game icon is when you go here. Some people have uh, videos, you know, YouTube videos. Yeah, it has to be 30 seconds. Uh, go here. Yeah. So, yeah, that's about all uh, for this tutorial. Uh, yeah. yeah. Thanks for watching. Make a great comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.